You play a game in which you must pick a real number x between 0 and 924. At the same time, a number y is uniformly and randomly selected in the same range. If x is greater than y, then you have to pay the square of the difference between the two numbers. If y is greater than or equal to x, you pay double the difference. You have two minutes to consider what is the number you should pick. Let's start by looking at the cost function when you vary your choice of x. For a fixed value of x, the expected cost is proportional with the sum of areas under the two curves. Just as we expect, the quadratic side is increasing much faster than the linear one when the value of x increases. Let's put this into formulas. Let f of a be a squared and g of a be 2 times a. Also, let z be the cost of this game. We are looking for x in the interval 0, 924, which minimizes our expected loss. Namely, the integral from 0 to x of f of x minus i di plus integral from x to 924 of g of i minus x di divided by 924. To simplify things, let's apply a change of variable substituting y minus x by t. This implies the following changes. di equals dt. And the new limits of the integrals are minus x and 0, and 0 and 924 minus x, respectively. Pushing these changes in the expectation formula, we get a new, simplified one. Since f and g are continuous, there exist capital F and capital G, primitives of f and g. Using the Newton-Leibniz axiom, we get a formula for the expectation that depends on capital F and capital G only, involves no integrals, and is defined by only x. Giving up the constant 1 divided by 924, we are back at the initial problem of minimizing this h of x. We need to look through the solutions of h derivative of x equals 0. Using the fact that f of 0 and g of 0 are constants and capital F and capital G are the primitives of f and g, we get that f of x equals g of 924 minus x. This is a second degree polynomial with roots minus 44 and 42. Only one of them is a candidate in the interval 0, 924. We have to make sure that this x0 is indeed a minimal point by checking that the derivative of x changes sign in x0. And indeed, x0 is a minimal point. You can also use scipy optimize to find the minimal value of x and to corroborate the previous result. The solution proposed before can be easily generalized to any other continuous functions f and g. Now, let's look at an almost instant way to solve this problem when f and g are increasing linear functions and the interval of choice is 0m. The only minimal point we can have is c2 divided by c1 plus c2 times m. This is inside the interval 0m, and indeed it minimizes the expectation. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this and would love to see more, like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the alarm bell to be notified when new videos are released. Leave any comments about this problem below or on the problem's dedicated webpage. For more info, please check the description box below. See you next time!